proceed with our award ceremony. And uh, to give our next award, I invite on stage the Monegasque racing driver and LMP2 world champion, ladies and gentlemen, Stefan Riquelmi. Bonsoir Stéphane, bienvenue uh, à nouveau uh, parmi nous. Uh, you have been with us since the very first edition of the WSLA. And which are the awarded champions that you remember particularly? Um, good night uh, everyone. I would say um, I've been impressed by all the, the legends that you have awarded since uh, the first year because uh, there have been examples for many people. But uh, if I have to pick up one, I would say uh, Mika Akinen. Mika Akinen, yes, for because, you. Yes, <laughs> because um, when I was young, I was following F1 a lot. Uh, I mean, when he was winning the championship, I was uh, nine and 10 years old. So, um, I mean, when you were a kid, you really follow uh, like crazy all the races. And it was, uh, it was my idol, I was a big fan. <laughs> Great. And uh, how your uh, passion for race is born? Um, I would say it's pretty simple because uh, my both parents are really interested in uh, motorsports. Um, my father was uh, already a driver and uh, my mom was a uh, co-driver co my father. So, oh, really? I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, I would say that since I'm born, I've always been in the motorsport uh, area. And also, uh, being born in Monaco, I guess with the Grand Prix and the Rally, it's uh, helping to, to get the values of uh, motorsport. And uh, which is the importance of the values of sport in your life, personally? Um, I would say, um, when you're doing competition or sports in general, you have to uh, push yourself. You are really committed to, uh, to try to succeed. But the, the road is really long and tough. To, uh, to achieve your goal, but it's, um, it's learning you, uh, teaching you uh, patience and to be humble. Um, also, despite the frustration, uh, you need to respect your rivals and you be to, to swallow, swallow your pride. So, um, I would say that uh, it's, um, you're also leaving your ego aside. So, um, you push you, your limits. Yeah, and um, being, uh, when you know this, you understand this, it's helping you in your daily life because uh, uh, once you've done everything for your sports, for your patient, then your life becomes easier. You have totally